Um, my favorite story is this, if you don't mind me telling. Yeah, no, I would. So, that's what I'm. I'm super interested in this, so I'd love to hear more stories. Sure. So, so we had we had this design of this kiosk, and it was interactivity, and I don't even remember what the interactive game was at the time. Um, but it had a little bench, and we had, um, and they've got wonderful carpenters, by the way, and an installers at the museum. So they built this thing to specs. You know, we designed it all out, and I was like, yeah, we're going to put a bench here, and yep. um, we put it there. And we said, oh, hey, when they're done with this, um, let's let them post to social media. Let's let them send like a, them some, a postcard. Um, and so we'll put a little webcam at the top, and in the kiosk, we'll put a little hole at the top where, you know, they're supposed to be, and a little arrow. And it'll say like you know, look here. Um, and so when they're when they're done with the activity, you know, they'll press it and it says you know, send yourself a postcard. Look here. Well, I kid you not, Ryan. Every time someone would walk up to that kiosk, they wouldn't even sit down at the bench. They would walk over to where the hole was. They'd stick their eye in the hole, <laughs> and they would go, I don't see anything. I don't get it. And then they would walk away. That's so huge. Funny. Huge yeah. eye-opening moment for me, <laughs> which was that was the first instruction that they saw was a giant arrow pointing to a hole that said, "Look here." So that's what they did, and then that was it. Never sat down on the bench; they would just walk away. <laughs> so, did, how did you end up? Uh, did the museum? So, the, I, I just like want to. This museum thing is super interesting. There's a <laughs> an incredibly popular um, muse, children's museum in Philly called the Please Touch Museum. So it's designed nice. to be interactive. It's just like a super cool, um, it's, it's, it's an unbelievable, well, well designed. I think designing for families and children and multiple different types of audience was also it. Whereas like as a parent, you can enjoy it as, you know, if you, if you like grandparents, anybody bringing their children, the children themselves, it's like unbelievable how they, everything is like, like, you know, like there's a, uh, what do they call Like the tables that have, uh, like a water table where kids can kind of interact oh, yeah. with different components. But yeah. it's funny because the table is like much lower because it's like, you can't design it for an adult, like at their waist, right? You right. have to design it for like, you know, a, a young kid because that's the target audience. So it's just like little things like that, that I like really appreciate. And I could just see myself being in a role where I'm like, I understand design, but then it's like, you don't see, you don't actually fully understand the audience until you're observing it which is something that I think more and more people get away from, but that also will help debunk like your own biases and like way you perceive things. Um, that's why I always like, I'm a big fan of like designing in groups and then, and that doesn't even mean with other designers, but other people contributing to the overarching idea and the designer's job is to kind of pull those ideas together. So it makes sense so that the end product, you know, you can maybe down the down the line, right? Like, the next time you design something like that, you're going to change the way that you do it. So I'd love to, so how did you end up like resolving the problem? Did you guys scrap that project, move on? Did you go back and fix it? Like, well, how did it, how did it end? Yeah, we went back and fixed it. Actually, you know, we had to change where the webcam was. We got rid of the signage. Uh, we did a little bit more of an onboarding, which was, you know, big, like one, two, and three, you know, here's what we want you to do. Yep. And we really focused more on letting them work in the interactive itself and then the interactive itself then at the end would point up to the camera so just simple little changes like that you know where you think I, you know i get it it's a it's a big arrow and you're gonna look at the at the arrow um we just removed it moved it into the actual interactive itself and just that was it no you know, that's, and, that's and, awesome yeah and that's one of the other eye-opening things too is sometimes it's the it's the tiniest little tweak that you make to something um, that just improves the experience so much more. Yeah, that, that's a great. Uh, it's always the attention to details, right? It's, that's the things that yeah. give you that, that extra user delight is like what I like to use, that little extra something special yes. that keeps them coming back. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Design Huddle. The opinions expressed are solely our own and do not express the views or opinions of our employer.